KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme Video, the morning edition. This is for Wednesday, the 15th of April. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather cool and dry today. A chance of some patchy frost again tomorrow morning. Rain returns probably Friday night, then again Sunday. Let's take a look at things early this morning. There's the upper look. We have a trough over the eastern U.S., and as advertised, we are in the 30s in many spots this morning. We've got 35, and these are 430 temperatures. The numbers will be lower than that by 6 or 630. Coleman and Haleyville, 35. Aniana, 36. Birmingham at 39. We have freeze warnings in effect north of the state for parts of Tennessee and Kentucky. All the way back into parts of Texas and Oklahoma. Winter storm warnings in effect for parts of Wyoming, Colorado, and Nebraska. Winter just hanging on. Here's the severe weather outlook through tonight, a marginal risk over parts of the Florida Peninsula. This is tomorrow, and this is Friday. No severe storms expected on those days. Here's the rain for the next seven days across the southeastern states, the heavier rain totals for the southern half of the state. One to two inches there, under one inch for the north. So, model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS, the OZ run at 4 o'clock, troughing over the east, and a beautiful day today. Sunny but cool. Highs only in the low 60s. That's over 10 degrees below average. Tomorrow, we start the day between 36 and 41 for most spots. And again, the colder pockets will see frost. The day will be sunny with a high in the low 70s. Now, Friday, we'll call it partly sunny with mid-70s. And uh, Friday night, a cold front comes in. This is early Saturday morning, 3 a.m. after midnight Friday night. So we'll mention a chance of showers Late Friday night, early Saturday morning. And then the day Saturday should be dry and cooler with a high in the upper 60s. Now, Sunday, that front begins to move northward as a warm front. And that will likely bring some rain at times. This is Sunday night. Got a surface low moving across the Gulf Coast region. Maybe some thunderstorms for the southern half of the state. And then Monday, that wave is on by. And Monday looks quiet, becoming partly sunny with mid-70s. Tuesday, we're dry. Upper 70s are likely. And then a week from today, Wednesday the 22nd, pretty good short wave coming through. A surface low is over southern Missouri. And if this were to verify, that might set the stage for strong, maybe severe storms Wednesday night of next week. Now, the European is slower. This is Wednesday off the European. It's got that surface low back over Texas, and then it moves it in here Thursday of next week, and that would be a severe weather look. So really both global models are suggesting there might be a chance of strong to severe storms Wednesday night or Thursday of next week. And this is seven to eight days away, just something to watch for now. Let's go out 10 days. This is Friday the 24th, troughing onto the east, and we are in a very dry air mass. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble, the mean between three and four inches for the next 15 days. And this should be it in terms of frost early tomorrow morning. After that, we'll give you the green light to plant. You can see highs back in the low 80s by the middle of next week. And the CPC outlook for April 22nd through the 28th, suggesting temperatures above average around here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.